So if you want to sell your designs on Spoonflower, you have to buy each design, even on a small piece of fabric, just to proof it. And then you can put it up for sale. So they have this thing where you can fill a yard with swatches of your designs. So that's what I did. I'm just seeing it now. Today it just arrived. I've only seen these on my iPad and my screen. So it's just really fun to see them printed. And now they're for sale on my Spoonflower shop. Got this in my P.O. box. Thank you, Eva. What a nice book. In case you're curious about the binding of her book, this I think would be a zigzag binding. The binding is a saddle stitch with red thread. The spines are, they have that uh, book guard material. I just got done unpacking all the stuff that iBookBinding sent me. He sent me a box of his products. Thank you. Sorry, my battery died. Um, I ended up opening all of that stuff and putting it in uh, the drawer in my workbench. And man, uh, thank you, uh, Stepan. He sent me a lot of stuff, and um, I don't know if I'll get around to using it all, but it is cool and well-designed, and I appreciate it. He even sent me um, a decal and mold for paper making with a lemon 3D printed on it. What? I will have to go down the adventure of making paper again to try this out. And there's also another cool design that he 3D printed. A circle piece for a circle piece of paper. These things are for cartonage. They're magnetic and they hold your the sides of the board straight while they dry. You put your boards with glue in there and then hold that in. Hold them in with this to dry. All of this stuff is available in his shop. I don't know if this stuff is, 
uh, but you might just want to go check out his shop. I'll link it here. And I have every size spacer I could ever need. <laughs> They're all in millimeters, but that's okay. Um, I can work in both inches and millimeters. I did include these in a video and my main channel. You can go check it out up here. Um, it's all about different ways you can punch holes in the mirror signatures. So I did try these out in that video. I, I'm all stocked up. I am stocked up on any kind of 3D printed tool I could need for bookbinding. So thank you again. I'm going to include this in this vlog because I want you guys to hold me accountable and myself to remind myself. This is a reminder to myself to please uh, proofread your videos, Jennifer, before you upload them um, so we don't have any boo binder knots. There's no such thing as a boo binder knot, just so you know. It's a book binder's knot. Cool. <laughs>